welcome to episode 3 of the founder series in this episode i'm going to talk to you about the architecture of yasmin now if you are a technical if you're not a technical person don't run away this is exactly for you i'll try to explain you the architecture in as simple terms as possible let me give it a try now let's look at erp next the easiest way to describe erp next is that it is a collection of multiple products you have financial accounting you have crm you have inventory management you have manufacturing human resources uh, purchasing sales and and so on now all these products are really complex in themselves and ideally all of these are also available in the market as separate products so how does erp next make this happen inside one single product the key to this is that we have a separate product we call it frappe framework frappe is the magic that makes this happen let us understand with the help of an, of an example imagine erp next to be a restaurant now in this use case you as a user walk into the restaurant erp next and you could order any dish uh, and each of the dish that you are being served is a product essentially like financial accounting or crm or something frappe in this restaurant is the kitchen that serves all these products to you when you ask for a new product it is uh, it is really easy to just go into the kitchen get the ingredients get the tooling and prepare a new dish for you this is how we are able to add so many different products inside one and how is this different from traditional software so traditional software is not designed like a kitchen it is designed more like a factory a factory is primarily designed to create very large volume of a single product or a single type of product so it is very hard for a factory to have very different products rolled into one this this two tier architecture that we have in erp next is is what really makes the difference in technical terms this is called a metadata driven architecture frappe is what we call as a web framework while erp next is a collection of products and each each product inside erp next we call it as a module now in this model you have a lot of other benefits like if you have a customer who walks in with a special requirement it's uh, once you have a kitchen and you have the ingredients it's really easy to cook up a new dish and this is what makes erp next really easy to customize also sometimes some dishes require special tools like if you're making pizzas you require larger ovens so some erp next features require special tooling which is not the part of our standard framework uh, framework features in this case we either have a choice to change the recipe so that we can make it within our current kitchen or invest in the kitchen itself so that we can handle recipes of this type and it is often that we go back into the framework and add this peak core capabilities into the framework so we can create a whole new class of products from here things once you have a dish uh, you could use it as a part of multiple dishes too for example you have common common things like bread that form part of multiple dishes all you need to do is perfect bread once and you could use it as a part of multiple dishes this is another huge ad- ad- advantage that we have with this kind of an architecture this is a really easy way to explain you how we are able to serve you such a large number of dishes in one restaurant erp next is a multi cuisine restaurant and we and this makes it very easy for us to also add new recipes as we encounter new and new users and customers and expand the offering for everyone but if if you are thinking that you know adding new dishes uh, does it reduce the quality of the existing dishes no having an additional dish is usually having a new recipe and a few ingredients and in software thankfully the cost of ingredients and recipes is not very high so if you are just going to regularly have one or two dishes um, use one or two modules then you should not worry that there are other modules that exist in erp next they are pretty much immaterial and they, and they are and they don't really take up lot of space Yeah so i think these the, with this uh, broad concept and i hope i hope i have been able to explain why erp next is special in terms of software architecture and why this kind of architecture is really flexible and allows us to create any kind of customer experience we want uh, on the platform thanks for listening and uh, hope to see you next time